Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send data to Integromat via an action in a bubble workflow using the API connector plugin. So this is what the scenario looks like. Um, the first module is the watch events module by bubble. So once you add it, you need to add your webhook here. And once your webhook is added, you'll see the webhook URL here, which you need to copy to your clipboard. Now we'll head over to bubble. Under plugins, you need to install the API connector plugin. So once you do that, you will need to add a new API. So that's the name of my API sent to Integromat. And this is how it's set up. Um, use as action, data type JSON, method post. And here you need to paste the webhook URL which you obtained from Integromat. And this is my form on Bubble. And when I click on submit, I want to send data from these fields to my Integromat scenario. So I need to click on submit and click on start edit workflow. And here, click on click here to add an action. And under plugins, select the API that was just created. So I select send to Integromat. And here under message, you need to type in the JSON body, which is to be sent to Integromat. So I'm going to do that. You need to insert dynamic data for each of the fields you want to send data from and select the fields value. Make sure your JSON is formatted correctly. And now I'm going to head back to the scenario. Here I've got the past JSON module where I have mapped the, the message element from the bubble module. And I've got a set variable module here where I've mapped the F name variable and here I've mapped um, the email variable. And now I'm going to run the scenario once. And to trigger the scenario, we'll head back to bubble. And in the preview mode, we need to submit this form. So I fill this form up, hit submit. You need to click on run next twice. And if you head back to the scenario, you can see it ran successfully. And here in output, I've got the F name, the value of F name and the value of email. So that's it. Um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.